So say you can't find your Samsung TV's remote, don't fret, you can still use your Samsung TV without the remote with the method of, you know, keyboard, Samsung TV app and such. There are a bunch of different methods and of course, I'm Vamsi from Smart Dance Proxy, that's what I'm here to show you, you know, the different methods I can use to control your Samsung TV without the remote. Let's begin without any ado. Pretty much all Samsung TVs, or any TV for that matter, have a power on and power off button, but you probably didn't notice because you never bothered to look behind it. There are other buttons or just one other button that you can still use to navigate different features and stuff like, you know, volume up and down or change the source and such. Depending on your model of your Samsung TV, the power button would be located on the back of your TV or in the center bottom panel. Pressing it once will toggle it on and then off. Also, you can use it as a joystick, which will bring up additional controls such as changing the channel, adjusting volume, and even changing the source to HDMI. Unfortunately, you can't use it to navigate or open other apps on your TV. Well, this native method is quite restrictive because, you know, you can't stick your head behind your TV because it's wall mounted or something. You know, who would do that? Just put it on the ground like a normal person. But there is a better way to do it by just using a USB keyboard. And most Samsung TVs support a USB keyboard, so you can use that to control any part of your TV or whatever feature that you want to use. If you have a wired keyboard lying around, you can just plug that in to a USB port of your TV. Once you've done that, you'll be able to control pretty much all aspects of your TV with the arrow keys on the keyboard. You can even access the settings, open and switch apps and etc. I tried a few different keyboards, including the wired Apple keyboard, and it works just fine. There is a caveat though that you can't really adjust the volume. You can use the arrow keys to navigate and then enter select and then escape to go home, but you can't change the volume for some reason. Mouse, however, does not work with Samsung TVs running Tizen OS, so there you go. Okay, now we know that USB keyboard works, but anyone watching this video, I would highly recommend that you get a wireless keyboard. For instance, you can get this cheap wireless mini keyboard plus mouse combo that works with a Bluetooth dongle and then lets you control the TV without any setup at all. Simply just plug the dongle into the USB port on the back of your TV and then you're good to go. You can only do basic navigation, but you can also mute, open apps, and of course, control the volume of the TV. In Android TV, the touchpad also gives you a mouse pointer, but it didn't work on this Samsung TV, so I don't know why. The only caveat though is that it comes from China and if it breaks, there's no warranty. However, I've been using this for a year now and it seems to be fine so far. And also, it's from China. So one of the most popular ways that you can control your Samsung Smart TV without a remote is by using the Samsung Smart Things app. You can just control it normally but virtually on your smartphone. There is one big caveat though. If you've never used the SmartThings app before, then you can't really use it after you've lost the remote, as it requires you to give permission from your phone to connect to your TV. However, you can use an external keyboard to give this permission, even if you've lost your original remote. And if you're able to connect the app successfully, the rest is pretty simple. Just get the app both on Android and iOS, and make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your TV, and select a TV from the list of available devices. From there, it works just like an actual remote, and works wirelessly over Wi-Fi. And finally, if you want a permanent solution, just buy a universal remote, a really cheap one off of Amazon. That's just the best way to do it, if you ask me. I'd recommend this over the original remote because it works with multiple devices and is often really cheap. I bought the universal remote for $10 by GE that has codes for most electronic devices that work with an IR remote, which is infrared. You just have to put the remote into program mode and then enter the code specific to your TV. The remote also comes with a guide with all the codes, which you can find in the leaflets or, you know, Amazon product page. Once you pair it, you'll be able to control all the aspects of your TV from the remote. Well, that's it for now. Well, for temporary solutions, just use a keyboard or a SmartThings app. But if you want a permanent solution, like I told you, just buy a cheap universal remote that you can use with many other devices as well. 
Well, now that you have your Samsung Smart TV working back again, check out our other video that we've done on how to set up SmartDNS proxy on Samsung TV sets to get started. As always, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and if you're new here, subscribe and click on that bell icon so you get notified every time we put a new video. You know, just five to 10 minutes of pure helpfulness and heartwarming content. See ya.